Welcome back. So in this session, we are going to discuss the differential operator D and the displacement operator E, or sometimes called the shift operator. So we'll start by defining each of these two operators. So the operator D, Which is the same thing as d dx is given by d of a function f of x is the same as d dx of the function f of x. And sometimes this can be written as df dx. Sometimes this can be written as f prime of x. But then the second differential operator, d squared of f of x is the same as d squared dx squared of f of x, which is the same as d squared f dx squared given by f double prime of x. Uh, similarly, we can define the third and fourth differential of f of x. So d cubed f of x is d cubed dx cubed of f of x given by d cubed f over dx cubed, which can be written as f triple prime of x. And then we can go further up to the nth differential of the function f of x. And so this will be given by dm f of x equals to dn dx n of f of x, which is the same thing as dm f dx n. And this is the nth derivative of the function x. So these are differential operators. And so uh, we know that the shift operator displacement operator of a function f of x is given by f of x plus h, where h is the interval of spacing of spacing or differencing. Now, We also know that the Taylor series expansion gives F of X plus H is given by f of x plus h over one factorial f prime of x plus h squared 
over two factorial second derivative of f at x plus h cubed over three factorial third derivative of x plus other several terms plus h power n over n factorial nth derivative of f of x plus other terms. Now, if we remember, this is how we are defining the differential operator. So let's call all these differential operators. Let's call all these, let's call this star. And let's call uh, this equation, let's call this equation one. And so equation one is E of F of X now will be given by F of X plus H over one factorial f prime of x plus h squared of two factorial plus h cubed over three factorial third derivative of f plus several terms of the same pattern and then plus h power n over n factorial and the derivative of x plus several terms. Now let me call this one two. Then using star in two, we get that the shift of f of x Will be given by f of x plus h over one factorial. Now instead of writing f prime, we write d of f of x because they are the same plus h squared over two factorial. Instead of writing f double prime, we write d squared f of x plus instead of writing f triple prime will write d cube f of x and then plus other several terms plus h power n over n factorial d power n of f of x then plus several terms of the same pattern. Now, what follows? We see that the right hand side of this new equation, every term has an f of x. That is what you observe. So it means that we can write this one as shift of f of x one plus h over one factorial b plus h squared d squared over two factorial plus h cubed d cubed over three factorial plus several terms, plus h power n, d power n over n factorial, plus other several terms, and then times f of x. Of course, every term here has an f of x, so I've just factored it out. 
Now, for this equation to make sense or for the equality to make sense, so it means that the coefficient of x on either side must be the same. So this implies shift is equivalent to one plus, actually I can just write this one, hd over one factorial. I can write this one just to power one plus hd squared over two factorial plus hd power three over three factorial plus other several terms plus hd power n over n factorial plus several terms of the same pattern. And you see, we know that if I have one plus x over one factorial plus x squared over two factorial plus x cubed over three factorial plus x power n over n factorial. This is just the Taylor series of McLaurin series of e raised power x. So which means that our series on the right hand side of this equation is just e raised power hd. So the role of x is taken by hd. So therefore, the shift is the same as e raised power hd. So this is the relationship between the shift operator and the differential operator. And then we have confirmed previously that so let's call this one three. We know that the shift operator is the same as one plus forward difference operator. So three can be written as where the shift we put one plus forward is given by e raised power hd. So then applying If I call this one for logarithms on four, we get logarithm so ln of. ln of one plus forward will be ln of e raised power hd. And then using properties of logarithms, then this is the same thing as writing hd ln of e equals to ln of one plus forward. And ln of e is just one, so hd is the same as ln of one plus forward operator. And we know that the McLaurin series of one plus x uh, since or you can just say we know that
ln of 1 plus x is given by x minus x squared over 2 plus x cubed over 3 minus x power 4 over 4 plus x power 5 over 5 minus etc. Then I will have hd is given by, so the rule of x here is taken by forward, so be forward minus forward squared over 2 plus forward cubed over 3 minus forward power 4 over 4 plus forward power 5 over 5 minus other terms of the same pattern. So which tells us that the differential operator can be written as 1 over h multiplied by forward minus over 2 plus over 3 minus over 4 plus over 5 minus other terms of the same pattern. So that the relationship between the differential operator and the forward difference operator. So you can as well get other relationship between the differential operator and the backward dif uh, difference operator and still get the result. Thank you.